Hi, I'm Kyle Pennypacker and welcome back to Penny Prepper. Today's video is going to be about prepping skills. Before we get started today, I'm going to ask that you like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share with any like-minded folks. All right, the very first one that I'm going to start out with is going to be knots. And that is uh, something that you're pretty much going to use in every situation or any scenario you can think of. And not only is it a great skill to learn just because, but there are so many applications where in your everyday life, if you need to lift something up a building or you have a piece of fence that uh, has fallen down, you need to lash it to another piece of wood. Um, pretty much anything you can think of, you can utilize knots. Um, and there's something that with the a lot of the materials that you use for knot tying, you can also use for later things. Uh, but definitely learning things like the square knot, clove hitch. Um, th there's literally so many knots out there, I can't even list them all. Um, but just start by learning your basic knots, especially square knot is the most basic and it is the easiest to learn. Once you start there, work your way up. Just go online, watch a lot of YouTube uh, tutorials. Uh, if that's something people are interested in on the channel, um, I can definitely do some videos on that at a later point um, because being a Boy Scout, knots were a big thing. And personally, it's something that I'm lacking a little bit in, uh, but it's something that you must always practice. It's always good to have a little bit of paracord with you. Uh, if you're somewhere out in public or wherever and you're waiting in line, maybe in your car before work, just tie a couple knots before you go into work. Uh, it's great, and it's not like somebody can yell at you for having a knot. You don't even have to look most of the time. It's really a great skill to have. Next one is going to be cooking. Now, I'm not talking about being able to cook uh, some five-star chili or some uh, croissants or anything. I'm talking about learning proper hygiene, uh, how to properly cook or how to properly season things in a way that they're edible um, or just even learning some basics that a lot of people don't understand like stirring uh, food so it doesn't get stuck to the pan. You would be surprised how many people can't get that one down. Um, also learning the nutritional value of food. That's a big one. Learning that you need 2,000 calories plus a day to survive if you're a male. Uh, also learning things like scavenging hunting, uh, and foraging. That's great and important because uh, if you get hungry enough, you'll probably end up eating just about anything and you want to make sure that you're not eating something like poison ivy because you will die. Um, also something like uh, expiration dates, learning that you can eat some foods after the expiration date. You just need to learn how to go about it. Uh, because obviously there's sometimes where botulism and other things can get into food. And again, you can end yourself pretty quickly doing something like that. Next is a big one for me because I feel as though this is one of those things where you may not make it more than a couple hours, depending on the scenario. That's going to be self-defense. Um, I also want to tie fitness into this because fitness it plays a big role overall as well as in self-defense. Uh, you may be somebody who's big, but just because you're big doesn't mean that you can survive in a fight, um, which is why even somebody as large as myself, I still rely on other tools. Um, you can utilize firearms, bladed weapons, distance weapons, slingshots, blunt force weapons, uh, or basically anything that you feel comfortable with from baseball bats to uh, crowbars, and then martial arts, and even stuff like uh, chemical deterrents and sprays. Next is going to be communications. That's stuff like, uh, I'm not talking about cell phones and telephones, um, even though it is important to note that a lot of times when cell phones go down, uh, your wall phone, the one that actually plugs in, not the one that you can walk around the whole house with, but the old school phones a lot of people think of uh, that has the cord, that actually has its own power supply other than the normal grid. So if something were to happen, chances are if you pick up that phone, there still will be a dial tone. Um, that's something important to know, but also stuff like CB radio, 
ham radio, knowing the difference between um, the different types of frequencies and even handheld radio frequencies is important because it can not only save you from legal ramifications, uh, if you were to key up a ham radio, for instance, but also keeping out of maybe some legal liabilities as far as the FCC. Next up is going to be bushcrafting. This is a big one, but also something that um, it's more fun to learn, but also you have to sort of get out and do it. Um, it's something where if you have the time to go um, in your backyard and you have some woods, go out there, camp overnight, or if you're able to go camping out in general, go ahead, do it. Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with bushcrafting, some incredible things, but you really need to learn it, go out, do it, and retain it. It's a big thing. Um, I still retain some of the stuff I learned from scouts years ago, but again, a lot of this stuff is perishable skills. You need to actually go out and do it. Bushcraft is a big one to learn, and you can get uh, books on that as well as going online and finding tons of information. With bushcrafting, I'd also like to put in there that you should be able to learn knots, and I'm not just talking about knots as in the square knot, but also learning how to lash things together, like I said before, why it's important to learn knots, because you can also learn how to build shelters and um, lots of other things with uh, knots as far as bushcrafting. And then you can also learn things, uh, how to build and make fires, different ways of doing it as well as water collection and storage, purification, and last and can be very important, that's navigation. Um, <clears throat> that's something where um, bushcrafting is not necessarily a way to make that, but you can learn how to navigate using bushcrafting skills. The next two I'm just gonna blow right through because um, they're general things, but once you get into them, you can learn. Hunting is something that I really would like to get into this upcoming year. Uh, I just got my hunting license last year and unfortunately got laryngitis right before the season kicked off uh, and it lasted me all the way through. So I wasn't able to make it out for that. Uh, but this year I hope to go out with an experienced hunter and learn what I can from them. Uh, also vehicle maintenance, my father is big into vehicles and uh, through him I've been able to learn a little bit. I know the basics, but that's something again that Learning the basics is great. Um, during a grid down situation, your vehicle may not work. You may not even be able to get gas. So just having it maintained enough to get you through snow or wherever you need to go, because uh, chances are you're gonna ditch it if it's that bad of an incident. Um, at least knowing uh, how to replace the coolant. Great example is from the movie Wolverines. I hate to reference it, but it's a great movie. Uh, the part where the radiator gets shot and uh, they have to pee into it to uh, make sure that the engine doesn't overheat. Just a great example, and um, you know that's something that they wouldn't have known if they didn't know anything about vehicles. Uh, next is going to be information gathering uh, before and after an incident. I'm going to say before, that's getting the right websites, uh, going to the right YouTube channels, getting the right news um, and sources, not just listening to everything or seeing on Facebook. Uh, anything that you see that you feel as though is alarming, what you really need to do is research for yourself. Just because you hear something I say or any other YouTube channel or you hear CNN, ABC, MSNBC, Fox, anybody, they all have agendas. I have an agenda, that agenda is making good content so I can grow bigger and show more things on YouTube. Um, luckily for you, I'm a little bit more selfless than Fox or CNN, uh, so I won't lie to you. Um, I have no reason to, plus it's bad for views, obviously, but do your own research. Don't follow information blindly. Even anything I say, research for yourself and learn better ways of doing things. All right, this next part, I'm going to contradict myself a little bit from what I just said, but that's going to be medical. You need to learn as much medical stuff as you can. Um, it's the most important skill, I would say, other than making sure that you have water and are able to survive in general. 
because if you get hurt, um, depending on what happens, not only are you not going to be able to survive for a long period of time, but it's going to suck the whole time until you are not alive anymore. Um, it's something you can always use. Uh, it makes you a great asset and invaluable. Uh, learning just basic first aid um, is a great tool. Even bleeding control, uh, learning how to uh, stop or plug gunshot wounds, uh, and also just learning your ABCs of uh, basic first aid, which is your airway, breathing, and circulation. Just knowing a few things can start to lead you down the path of learning about medical skills. Um, and once you start to go down that path, you sort of connect the dots of how the human body works. It's an incredible machine, but it's something where it can take something so small to just destroy the whole thing. But also I've seen instances where something should not have let somebody make it out of it and they've come out fine. It's incredible. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah. So my challenge for you is gonna be, take one of the things that I just listed and try to learn at least one thing a day for at least a week. So I'm not saying learn knots one day and learn first aid the other. I'm saying pick one and let's say you do choose knots. Learn one knot on Monday, learn another knot on Tuesday until you've learned at least seven knots or seven things. Um, and then not just leave it at that. Get better, learn more, and actually practice the skill. If you choose medical, learn your basic first aid skills, maybe watch some YouTube channels and get better at it. It's something where um, all those skills are perishable, so you need to continuously learn more and more about them. All right, that's all I have for today's video. If there's anything you would like to see me post in any upcoming videos, please comment below and let me know. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and stay prepared.